Today, I am going to be doing a taste test on the Peter Pepper. Why do you think they call this thing a Peter Pepper? Why is it called a Peter Pepper? Does that look like anything familiar to some of you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to make it a little interesting because the Pepper was actually named the Peter Pepper after the appendages that men have it supposedly resembles it more so or more or less the very end of it i guess that's what it's supposed to look like something like that i've seen other pictures of these where they actually develop into a real looking appendage and so i guess that's why they named it that i i don't know if they did that as a joke or yeah it's what it's named after so uh, it's a little weird for me to actually eat this thing on camera, so I'm probably just going to break a piece off, and then I'll be right back, and then we'll taste test it that way, all right? So hang out, and I'm going to taste test it right now. Okay, so I broke a little piece off. I guess that's the tip of it, right? <laughs> all right, so let's give it a go. Oh. oh, I'm not caring for that too much. It's tangy right out the gate. It's not very hot. It is a little hot, but not like killer heat where you're dying from it. You could eat these things, it seems. I'm going to let you know in a minute if the heat builds. But the flavor was kind of tangy and almost a little bitter. Almost a little bitter. Not quite saying it was bitter, but yeah. it was. It's a little bit kind of a... I'll take another bite off of this. I guess now that it's been... <laughs> Never mind. Let's just take a bite. I'm not digging it, guys. I am not digging this one. I almost want to spit it out. Heat's building now. Up towards the seeds, it got really hot. Let's talk about the heat. The heat, the end of the tongue, top of the tongue, a little bit around the mouth, a little bit towards the back of the throat. It's got a very rounded type of a heat. It's very consistent. It's staying strong. It's staying steady. It kind of gets you... I'm feeling it right now in your throat. You know that thing that hangs down? They call that a uvula, I think. Kind of hangs down at the back. That's getting hit right now. That normally doesn't get hit hard. I know I'm going to feel it, but it feels good, though. If you got a sore throat, that would feel really, really good on your throat. Heat's building, guys. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's staying around mostly on the tongue, going towards the back of the throat, but mainly like where that uvula hangs. That ubla and that whole piece of like skin around that, that only that area, that ring like, that area is, is being hit right now. A little bit. It's got heat on it. That little thing really fired up. It's really hitting the tongue hard though. That and it's got that back of that throat thing where that ubla is. Man, I normally doesn't get cooked like that. I didn't belch, so I'm not going to say it's hotter than a jalapeno, but it is damn close to it. This is like an 8, almost a 9,000 on a Scoville. You can see my eyes are kind of, kind of not watery, but very close. It's got heat on it. Surprised me. I didn't think it would be that hot. I don't want to do, I was going to do another one because they weren't that bad. I take that back. Yeah, these got a little heat on them. Threw me for a loop. I didn't expect it to be that kind of, that hot really. Because I, I want to do three or four reviews, you know. And when I get hit with a hot one like that. I'm done for a few hours. I can't I can't do anymore. My tongue gets singed and then I can't, you know, I can't give you an accurate guess or anything cuz now once you get singed, you get another pepper. It's not as hot. You you can't really it throws you off. I was going to do the seven pot. All right, that's supposed to be a seven pot. It's a little one. I don't know. It looked look like two or three peppers came out of my seven pot. I got an orange seven pot that came out of there. It's weird. I love all these cross peppers they throw in a package for you. I guess that's like a bonus. Oh, who guys? That was that really. You know, I had some heat on it. Wasn't ready. I would have had something out here for me. You know, it was hot. It was. I was borderline of heat cupping. Borderline, but I didn't heat up. I'd say that was probably between eight and ten. Maybe a little bit hotter, and that's my scale. Your scale might be like twenty, twenty-five, thirty thousand. For me, I'm. I'm saying. That heat-wise, was very close to a, a jalapeno. That's my way of saying it. Very, very, very close. In some cases, I think it was just about jalapeno heat, the lower end of the jalapeno. Look at my fingers. They're all red. 
because I was pulling a few of the, there's a seven pot dogla, or doga, or dogle, or dogla. I was pulling a couple of them apart to get the seeds. It's in my fingers. Every time I touch my face now, I'm on fire. Whew. Peter Pepper's hot. As far as the taste goes, I almost wanted to spit it out. It was disgusting to me. I mean, I'm going to grow it again next year. Hopefully get peppers a little earlier in the year. And then that way I can uh, give you an accurate review on this pepper. I don't think that developed correctly or something. It shouldn't have been like that. It was just awful tasting. It was very awkward. Bitter. Had a really funky, I don't know, after, undertone or aftertone. It was ugh. Oh, like I said, I almost wanted to gag. It was citrusy and tangy and bittery at the same time. It wasn't really sweet or anything at all. So, I don't want to put the pepper down yet. I'm going to grow it out a couple more years and just see if maybe it was just the soil. Because sometimes that'll do that. Some soils will actually cause peppers. You got to put lime in your soil, guys. If you put lime in your soil, your peppers, you always get the best sugar sweetness out of your peppers when you do that. Plus, they don't get the blossom end run and all that. That was your Peter Pepper, Peter Piper Pick the Pepper review. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.